Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and spring will be here soon and with spring means Easter. And I'm going to make a very quick and easy Easter quilt. And what's going to make this quick and easy is the pieces are very big. But the border is going to make it very cute because it's going to be a little scalloped border. And the fabric I'm going to use is this very cute fabric from Timeless Treasures and it has these barnyard animals on it. You have all the barnyard animals, but you also have these cute chicks and rabbits. And this little tan gingham is what's going to make the border. We also are going to use Hobbs Craft Batting, and it's 36 by 45, and that's a great size that you can quilt it yourself and get it done in time. Now let's talk about the sizes of the fabric because, like I said, they're going to be big pieces. So you're going to take two of a print fabric and you need to cut them to six and a half inch squares. You'll need four of one and four of the other or you do eight of one. The next thing we're going to do is make a little four patch and the four patch are three and a half inch squares sewn together. So to make these little four patches you're going to start with two strips at three and a half inch wide and you can do the whole width of the fabric if you like and you're going to sew the two together with the quarter inch seam allowance from then you are going to cut these into three and a half inch squares and this is what you're going to end up with and when you open them up you will have this You'll be able to take this to the iron and press it to the darker fabric. Then, with just a twist, and the seams will nestle together here, sew a quarter inch down. And when they open up, it will become this. And if you keep the seams going in a circular motion, you will notice that you have a little four patch right in the center and when you have that it's going to keep that block nice and flat so you will need eight of these to match eight of your prints then you'll take the four patch and you're going to sew it up against one of the solids and you will take this and press it towards the solid block then you're going to be able to sew them into rows so then you'll need a solid, a four patch, a solid, and a four patch. And you're going to continue this pattern all the way down. So the next thing we're going to do is cut out a top and a bottom out of this large border fabric. And from this fabric, I am going to cut a six and a half inch strip. So you need to find an area from your large strip of fabric where your six and a half inch is going to fit nicely in the center. So here I was able to cut the six and a half inch deep piece. And I want it longer than the quilt. And that gives me an opportunity to sort of figure out where I want it. See if I can go without cutting off one of the animals or if it was a flower, I could figure where to put it exactly. And I'm going to do the same for the top as I am to the bottom. Then I'm going to sew the top and the bottom on using a quarter inch and then I'm going to trim it down but doing it this way be careful that you do not stretch it and you leave them both the same size and this is a great way of using up those large borders because you can put them inside of your quilt you don't always have to use them for the outside for the outside border we are going to make a very large border and we're going to make it from this sort of tan gingham and we're going to do a six and a half inch border all the way around. Okay, the big borders have been sewn on. And if the top is a little bit bigger than the batting, that's fine, because this is where the fun happens. You're going to completely quilt this and just do an all over pattern. And then when it is done, we are going to trim down the border and we're going to make a beautiful scalloped edge, which will be very quick and easy to do. So the quilting is complete and the next thing you need to do is just square off the quilt. We are going to make a pattern to make the edge scalloped. 
So you're going to need two strips of paper, one for the top measurement and one for the side measurement. After that, you're going to need something to draw a little circle. And take your little circle and put it on a piece of paper, draw it, and cut it out. And then you're going to take that circle and you're going to fold it in half. And that is going to be the template to make the scallops on this paper. So this is the length of the quilt, regardless if it is the top and bottom measurement or the side measurement. You just need a long strip of paper the same size as your quilt. Then take the strip of paper and fold it right in half. Now the circle template you drew is actually going to round off this corner and it's going to start the scalloped edges on both sides. So you're going to take this template and with your paper folded in half, put it right into the corner and just trace your circle. And you don't even have to go all the way along. You just need to go into this corner. Then take your circle, fold it in half, and finding your half measurement, draw a line. Take the folded edge of the paper and put it to that half line that you drew. Do not put it right to the edge, just to that half line. Then you can fold the page in half to that drawn line again. So you're going to take your template again and you're going to put it now on this corner. And you're going to draw another half circle. With this one, you're going to continue the circle that you started originally. So now you have your half circle and your circle. You will have this little space here and this is the space you're going to fill. And you're going to take it again with your template until you are touching both edges of the circle and continue to draw that line. It has a very soft scalloped edge. It hasn't got a very sharp point because sharp points are very hard to turn when you have a lot of fabric. So it's nice that you have this very gradual shape. And you're going to cut off this piece here and this piece here. So this is now the shape that you have. And when you open it up, you have these very soft waves. And that is going to fit right along the top of your fabric. The top and the bottom are going to be the same, so one piece will work and the sides will be the same. So you'll only need two of these templates made. The next thing is going to be a piece of fabric that you are going to be able to trace the scallops on. And this is five inches and I've just pressed it over a half inch. You can do a quarter inch if you want, but I like working with a half inch for this. So this piece of fabric has to be the same length as the side that you are working on. Pin it and you will have right sides touching. So we're going to make this corner very easy and to do that just take a square of fabric and this is a four inch square folded in half and it is going to get placed in this corner. And this is the top of the quilt. The next thing will be your fabric that matches the length and it is going to go also right in the corner so all the raw edges are together. Now take this corner and fold it right onto itself so that this is a 45 degree angle. And you're going to do the same thing to the sides. And do this for all four sides. So you're going to have the folded triangle in the corner and the folded edges here. And this is going to make a nice 45 so that when it's flipped over, it will have a nice finish. And just pin it down. Once you have this all pinned, you will be able to take your template, put it down, and just trace following that nice curve. Do it all the way around. And you'll have this nice curved line traced on. Now this line is not your sewing line, it is your cutting line. So you are going to sew a quarter inch beside that line all the way around the entire quilt. So here's the stitching line 
and now I've cut all the way around the entire quilt. Just keep this nice and close within the quarter inch and you can even go right to an eighth of an inch trimming. So once it's all been cut, you're going to be able to take this and just turn it right sides out. And just with your thumb, have all of those scallops come out and then you're able to press it. And when the corner comes out, you will be able to sew that 45 degree angle together. And that little triangle you had will come to the back and have that corner nice and closed so you don't have any raw seams coming out of that corner. Hand stitch this down all the way along the back of the quilt or if you want, you could actually do a straight stitch all the way down, but if you do the straight stitch, remember you will see that stitching on this side. And when that's all down and done, give it a good press because the next thing we're going to do is top stitch all the way around the scallop to finish off the quilt. So even though this quilt was very simple with large blocks and a very large border, cutting that very easy scallop makes it turn into a very fun and fresh quilt. Now for the back of this quilt, all I did was use whatever leftover fabric it was and pieced it all together. But when that front came over to the back, it gives it a nice frame. So it is now a two-sided quilt. So a quick and easy quilt has turned very elegant and fun by just putting a little scallop border on it. And they're very easy to make by using your own paper templates. And you can use this with any size quilt because you cut your own templates. Just keep your corners nice and gentle and you can always clip the inside seams before you turn it right side out so it just makes it lay nice and flat. Thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe and as always, come on back and let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.